Hello, my name is Dr Kitching and I'm Head of Chemistry here at Wembley High and I'm here today to talk to you about why chemistry is a really good choice for your A-levels and what this course can offer to you. So what are our aims? What do we hope that you are going to get out of this course? Our primary aim is that you're going to develop a deep understanding and appreciation of the scientific method. This will form the underpinnings of any scientific inquiry that you do in the future. And we hope that you can find those beginnings here. We also hope that you're going to develop into a competent practical chemist. We complete a range of core practicals in year 12 and 13, and through those we aim that you become not only a competent but a confident practical chemist in handling all the different pieces of lab equipment and chemicals safely. We also hope that you will develop strong mathematical skills. There is a very strong quantitative element to chemistry, so you will get ample opportunity to practice. And throughout the course, you will be presented with lots and lots of new information. Our aim is that by the end of this, you will be able to apply that new information to different contexts and in doing so develop strong problem solving skills as well. Throughout all of this, you will be taught by subject specialists who have completed degrees and research at some of the best universities in the country. We hope that through a combination of their enthusiasm and elements of the course, you will develop an interest in and an enthusiasm for the subject. Now, hopefully that will manifest in you taking chemistry further as potentially a degree or hopefully some sort of related field, so maybe biochemistry or medicine. Lastly, we hope that you will be a motivated and independent learner. We will provide ample support to get you started on this path, but by the end of year 13, we anticipate that you will be learning independently. Our AS and A-level results are testament to the dedication of our teachers and students alike. For our AS results in summer 2020, we got 56% A to B, 72% A to C, and an 100% pass rate, with a total of 26 A grades awarded throughout our cohort. Our A2 results were similarly good. So in summer 2020, we got 73% A star to B, 93% A star to C, and 100% A star to D. So not just 100% pass rate, no E grades either. Four A star grades were awarded, which was 10% of our total A level cohort. So what you can be sure of is that if you choose to study chemistry at Wembley, you will succeed. What do students study? Well, in year 12, we will be following the edXL AS level in chemistry, and this is divided into two different papers. Paper one covers our core inorganic and physical chemistry. So in this, we will be looking a lot at bonding, the periodic table. Um, there's quite a lot of math skills in this paper and also a lot of inorganic chemistry. So flame tests, ion tests, things like that. In paper two, it is more heavily weighted towards organic chemistry, so hydrocarbons, alcohols, carboxylic acids, common chemicals that we come across every day, but maybe we are going to consider in a new light. And we also look at some physical chemistry, so rates of reactions, catalysts, and see how these things impact our everyday life. If you choose to carry on to the A-level, your AS knowledge will be invaluable because a lot of the A-level topics build very heavily on knowledge acquired in year 12. So we will be expanding on what you have already learnt, but also encountering some new topics too. So for example, in the A-level, we learn about lots of different analytical techniques, including things like hydrogen and carbon NMR. And this is how we can identify unknown substances in things like blood samples. So this is really heavily used in dope testing for sports, for example. So we start to get even more real world context for the things that you are learning. You also carry out some really cool core practicals that I'll talk about in a minute. Aspirin being one of them, which is why the structure is on this slide. But our A-level is divided into three papers. So we have paper one and paper two that are organised in a similar way to the AS level. And then we have a paper three where that is a synoptic paper. They can take questions from any topic that we have studied, but also examines your understanding of those important core practicals, which I'm going to talk about now. 
Throughout your chemistry A level, you will complete a range of core practicals. You will complete a total of 16, and this is spread between years 12 and years 13. And some of those will be similar to what you have done in GCSE. So you've probably carried out a titration. You've done flame tests, but some of them will be completely new. So at the end of year 13, for example, you synthesize aspirin, the painkiller that you can buy in the chemists, and you will make that on the lab bench. Throughout this, you will become capable and confident scientists. So you'll be handling a lot of lab equipment, some of which you will never have handled before, and you will be able to handle it with confidence by the end. This is excellent preparation for degree courses with a practical element. So chemistry, biochemistry, anything with time in the lab. Not only is it great preparation, it's also really good fun. So in addition to all the things on the edXL curriculum, we do provide a range of extracurricular activities as well. First and foremost is our Oxbridge and BMAT preparation intervention. This is where we take a range of questions from the BMAT from different sections and we discuss how best to go about answering them to prepare you for that task. We also can talk about developments in the world of chemistry and pharmacy and any other relevant areas to prepare you for that interview. We can also provide mock interviews. We all went through the chemistry interview process. We know what kinds of questions they ask and we can help prepare you for that. We have also produced subject guides for chemistry related courses, which you may find useful. There's loads of extracurricular activities and podcasts and videos in there to help you broaden your sense of the chemistry world and prepare you for that application process. I hope this video has been useful to you. I hope that you'll choose chemistry for your A-level and thank you for listening.